Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. I have to do this video today. A couple of things maybe you don't care about, um, but definitely a couple of the things you might. And quite frankly, one of these is like huge and kind of a PSA, kind of. So hopefully you want to see the haul and all the things that I got. If you do and you like what you see and you haven't subscribed already, you could do that now at the end of the video. Give it a thumbs up. All the things. I super appreciate it. And if you don't want to subscribe and just want to hang out, let me know in the comment section. Like you're just hanging out for a minute, stopping to say hey, whatever. I really enjoy chatting with all of you in the comment section. So yeah, let's just hang out down there for a minute if you have time. If you don't, that's totally fine. All right, speaking of time, I should stop wasting yours and just get into it. I think we should start with like the most sexy thing I got. Are you ready? Brace yourself. We're talking about a tub o lotion. <laughs> This is the CeraVe SA for rough and bumpy skin. SA is salicylic acid. I love anything with salicylic acid in it. This sucker weighs a ton too. Um, and okay, if you are new here or you don't know me, I have muscular dystrophy. So uh, that pretty much means my legs and arms are busted junk. They just don't work. I'm in a wheelchair full time, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I have a big old pump bottle of lotion that I love, but it's very hard for me to pump out. And though I don't love sticking my fingers in a tub of anything, my hands are always clean. So I thought this might be a nice thing to try out. I've never tried this before. This is my first time, um, but I have incredibly dry skin everywhere except my face, which is like normal oily. Um, so yeah, I decided to try a new body lotion because I'm dry and this just sounds really good it doesn't smell particularly yummy which generally means it's gonna work pretty well if it smells glorious <clears throat> maybe it'll work but if it smells like it'll work it usually does <laughs> okay next on my list is a giant bottle of the LA girl pro color foundation mixing pigment I got the little tubey one that comes in like a concealer tube and I have been able to use so many foundations like all of my favorite summer foundations that I didn't buy again in winter because some of them really expensive or ones that I really just couldn't get the right shade match. Boy howdy, whole new world. I can use all of my foundations now. If you have a foundation that isn't right, grab a mixing pigment. This one I technically got off Amazon. I do shop on the Zon kind of a lot, but like I mentioned a minute ago, I'm crippled and I don't get out to stores like ever, maybe a couple of times a year, not much more than that. So I do shop online a lot and Amazon quite a bit, but I did get a thing, <laughs> side note, saying that I spent a fair amount of money on small businesses on Amazon. So I do try to make an effort to do small business where I can, obviously everywhere, but even on Amazon, you can do it. And sure, you know, you pay for shipping, but you're supporting a small business. So when I can, I totally do. Okay, next, not small business. Uh, we're talking Ulta. I pop on probably every other day, every couple of days, just to look at what's new and what's on sale. Just take a reconnoiter, if you will. And I was on last week and they had dry shampoo, like 50% off. And I only wash my hair once a week. One, because I'm super dry. <laughs> and two, I'm not allowed to wash my hair when I'm home alone. And um, so, uh, I have to wait till somebody's here and usually that's the end of the day or first thing in the morning and that's not happening. So I use dry shampoo. I've been using the Eva NYC dry shampoo. I like it. It's fine, but I wanted to see if there was something else I loved. Quite a few months ago, I found one that I loved. It came in a boxy charm and was almost 30 bucks to replace it. 
So I noped out of that one. So anyway, let me show you the ones I got because if you have any experience with dry shampoo, I would love to hear it. You could point me in the right direction because I went in blind and purchased eight bottles of dry shampoo. I know, totes cray, but believe it or not, it gets crazier before we're done with this haul. So I went, I grabbed the Hask Charcoal with Citrus Purifying Dry Shampoo. This was my choice for today. I used this and I have to say my hair just feels like it's freshly washed. It doesn't feel like there's anything in it. It just feels clean. It's still like movie and um, not weighed down, not super like fly away frizzy with the heat. A lot of times with the heat on in the winter time, I get a lot of static, um, but my hair is doing okay today. So I like this one a lot. And I'm pretty sure I may have tried some version of the dry bar shampoo. This is the detox dry shampoo with coconut or coconut colada. Oh, I don't think I knew that when I ordered it. I don't like the smell of coconut. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So this is another one I got to try. And then I got a chlorine uh, dry shampoo with oat milk ultra gentle for all hair types. So that sounds lovely. I grabbed a second of the Hask brand and this is Biotin Boost Thickening Dry Shampoo. So this could be good. I mean, it says it's made with biotin, collagen, and coffee. I don't know if any of that's gonna actually do anything for my hair. I would seriously doubt it, but you never know. And then I grabbed this Bumble and Bumble 2-in-1 Style Extender to Cleanse and Lightly Volumize from Roots to End. That sounds lovely too, like towards the end of the week when I need to wash my hair. It gets a little way down, especially in the scalp where I do get some oils. Um, so it seemed like it would be a good one to mix in with whichever dry shampoo or shampoos I'm using. It's not such a funny word. Tara and I were talking this morning. Okay, next, Sexy Hair Big Dry Shampoo. This is a very tiny can <laughs> and she was expensive, but another brand, another version I really want to try. And then we have the Joyco Weekend Hair Dry Shampoo. This one is ginormous. So again, completely different you know, claims or what have you. So I feel pretty good about the mix that I purchased. And the last one is the IGK Jet Lag Invisible Shampoo. I have heard all the YouTubers who do the dry shampoo thing mention IGK, and I'm pretty sure this one specifically. So I thought it's good enough for the YouTubers. <laughs> just kidding. I just figured it had good word of mouth, so I would try it. So, eight bottles of dry shampoo, but I figure at half price, I mean, why not, right? I'm going to use it. I'm going to need it. Why pay full price in a month or two if I can get it for half price now? So that's what I did. Okay, I'm gonna save the super, the, these next two things, the last two things are super exciting. I'm torn between which is more exciting, but I'm gonna go with, the one I have the most of. If you thought eight bottles of dry shampoo was a lot, ah, uh, buckle up, baby. <laughs> a couple whiles ago, I got an MBA Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. It was the Cosmic Bubbles one. Really liked it. So I follow MBA Cosmetics on the gram. I think I'm really drawn to a lot of what they put out. I happened to see a post about um, they're not able to get the nail polish bottles anymore that they've been getting. So they have to like switch over everything. So all of their nail polish is 50% off. So I thought, well, again, 50% off, this would be a really good time to taste test a new brand. If you are new here, I love nail polish. Um, this is what my nails look like right now, which is using some of these. Um, I have two giant acrylic shelves hanging on the wall. I'll insert a picture here in case you want to see it. I love nail polish. 
I want to support indie brands as much as I can. And I've tried a couple. I don't hate them, but I don't love them. So I've been on the hunt. And when I saw this, half price is a very good price for nail polish. So I ordered 14 bottles. There was a mix up. I ordered one nail polish that I didn't get, which is kind of a bummer, but not the end of the world. So um, I'm not gonna stress about it. But, and they did end up sending me two of this one. Um, this is the out of sight nail polish. So it's still in the wrapper. I'm gonna pass it on to my daughter because I think that she would like it. So we have out of sight right here. And I don't know if it's just, I don't know why or what made them do it, but I can read all the words on the back of this bottle. That never happens. I mean, I still have to play the trombone a little bit, but these are cruelty free and 10 free. And I did check before I started filming and a bunch of the polish is still available. So as I'm filming this, you can get it. I'm gonna to try to get edited and get it up as I think my, my video for tomorrow. So hopefully I can get everything done. Um, because if you're interested in nail polish like I am, this is a heck of a good deal. So this is out of sight. This is the yellow that's on my nails right here and on the tips. I didn't do a white base. I wanted to see what this had all on its own. Just test drive it straight up without any help. And I mean, you can see there's a difference. There's yellow and there's green and that's without white nail polish underneath it, which if I were gonna do it again, I would use a white nail polish, of course, but I'm not mad at how it looked. And I did these three days ago and they still look perfect. Not the nail polish painting job isn't perfect. The nail polish is still perfect. And I think the only thing I've done is wash makeup brushes, which, you know, isn't nothing for sure, but I don't, I don't like to do dishes. I have a dishwasher, things like that. So they're still holding up pretty darn well. The next shade, which is the green, is called Can You Dig It? And this one is just a neon, and that one's a neon. The one I wanted and didn't get was, I think, a glow one, but really, really cool. And when, as soon as they came in, I opened up the package and I threw this matte black on my nail. It's called Blackout. I just chucked it on my thumbnail over the high-vis green that was already on there. Very sloppy, no top coat, no like real base coat, nothing. Just chucked it on there Thursday. You know, did the big heavy duty shower thing Friday. Uh, you know, just all the regular things that you do in a day. And when I took this off on Saturday, my nails were perfect. Friday, Friday night, I took this off and it was still perfect. It looked perfect on my nail. And I wouldn't say it's like the maddest matte nail polish in the world, but it is definitely matte. And I just, I don't know a lot about a lot, but I know a fair amount about nail polish and how it wears and how it goes on. And so far, just with those three nail polishes, I'm a fan. And when I'm done filming, I'm gonna go do my nails. Hopefully I have time. Um, <laughs> the brush on these are brilliant. They are the perfect size for me. I don't have very big fingernails. In fact, they're pretty dang tiny. Can do my whole nail with like two swipes. Um, but the brush size is fantastic. Let me see if I can, I haven't opened all of these yet. So some of them are harder to open. It's gonna be a long video if I open all these. I'm not going to. Let's see if I can show you. That's what the brush looks like. It's really, really good. And because these are brand new and you know super full, you do have to be careful because a lot is on the brush and the little like tubey part that goes up to the handle. So. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot. But again, I'm loving it so far. Okay, stop yammering. And then I got this yellow one called Bahama Sun. 
just a very basic yellow nail polish. And then I got Palm Cove, which is just kind of a muted green. Because these are half price, I really wanted to get a bunch. And then I got Caught Red Handed, just a nice red. I tried to hit all the bases. Now this one is called Miss Americana. I didn't order. It's like a confetti almost. It looks like it's like red, white, and blue. Um, so this must have been an extra or an accident maybe. I don't know, but I don't hate it. And then I got a super bright pink. This one's called What's Shaken. <laughs> So cute. And then we got Catch My Drift, which is a neon. What's shaken is a neon as well. They are definitely slightly different. Different enough that if I wore them on two different days, you'd notice probably not, but it's like eyeshadow. You need different shades, different undertones. It's a thing. Okay. And then I got Hot Lava. This is just like a beautiful, like gold. Um, what's the word? Bronze, maybe? Like an orangey bronze. It's really pretty, and I cannot wait to play with that. Would be gorgeous in the fall. And then I got. Tuscany Teal, which is a duo or multi-chrome. It definitely goes like purple, blue, green, blue. And Hear No Evil, which is just a super metallic red, like deep, dark red, kind of like Midnight Sun. I think it probably shifts black because this is not just a straight up shimmer. It doesn't say on my little cheat sheet. And then we got Rainbow Cupcake. Again, a multi-chrome. So pretty. Purple, blue, green, like a sea green. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And last, but certainly not least, we got Deja Vu, which is again like purple, to like a green or blue green shade similar ish to the other ones that i grabbed the lighting is terrible but they're not exactly the same i think if you had to skip one maybe tuscany tail teal or rainbow cupcake because they look similar ish I think that this one is probably purple with a blue shift. And this one's blue with a purple shift, if that makes sense. We are 18 minutes in. Oh my gosh. And I dropped one. Hey, check that out. There's a shocker. Okay, last but not least, I placed an order with Davina Cosmetics. I have one little six pan palette that I built and ordered ages ago. So I got on, because I've been wanting more. I love the eyeshadows I got. And now was the time. I always look. Um, probably once a week or once every two weeks, I go onto the website and look and see if anything strikes my fancy. And this time, they had a bundle. And a bundle strikes my fancy sometimes. So I grabbed this little six pan empty palette. It's kind of holographic. So this will help me to differentiate between this one and the other one that I have. And this bundle had six shades. Shawnee has it too. So uh, I think her video is up as well. Go check it out. So we have Thermosphere. Let me take these out of the packages and show you and tell you, and then we'll swatch them. So let's start with Borealis which goes like royal blue. I'm really just so unbelievably bad at this game. I can't do it. So 
<laughs> I'm going to swatch them and then I'll probably even insert swatches um, so you can really see what these look like because looking at the viewfinder, I can't even see what I can see in real life. And then we have Polaris, which is a green, <laughs> it's a green to purple. I can see it so clearly, but you can't. Ugh. And then we have Magnetosphere. Yeah, I just can't make it do its pretty thing. And then Australis. Ooh, did I almost get it? Okay, I'll just grab it like an animal. Ugh, gorgeous. I try not to be super aggressive with my eyeshadows, but I think they like it. And then we have Exosphere. See, me looking at it, it's like a purpley denim blue and you're seeing green. These shades just amaze me. And like I said, I have six eyeshadows from Davina already. I have Midnight Sun and then I have a couple other ones, but Midnight Sun is just knock your socks off amazing. The black is amazing. And then the other like red to black ones I have, look at that. Holy moly, this is Thermosphere. So they're all in their new beautiful little home. Look at that. Nope. All right, let me get these swatched out on my hand so I can show you real quick. Okay, these are the swatches. I tried to apply them differently this time so you could maybe see the shifty goodness. Of course, it would help if I could actually move my hand around. Oh man, these are freaking stunning. Give me one second. I'm going to try something else so I can show you the full beauty. Okay, those are four of them. I'm really trying here. I just I cannot, I can't get these two to do anything different. Uh, they are stunning. Oh my gosh. And they feel like literal satin. They are so smooth and so just Satiny, I'm telling you, these are gorgeous. And I don't have a whole lot of experience with multi-chromes, but I mean, man, oh man. All right, let's do the last two, just so we can say we did. Look at that, oh. Man, I just, I almost kind of want to. <gasps> These are so, so pretty. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm going to do it for all of them. Oh, hold on. I think this one didn't get quite as much. Yeah, look at that. All right, hold please. <laughs> I know I'm getting carried away, but I literally cannot help it. You have to see how stunning these are. I have no idea if that is showing you anything or not. I won't know until 
I'm done editing, but there has to be a better way. What about on my chin? They look exactly the same. There are two different eyeshadows. It's this one and this one. No, this one and this one. Huh. Oh, look at my wrinkles. Lee. Okay, I think we should end it here. Boy, howdy, things took a turn. But man, oh man, so gorgeous. So you can bet your bippy these are going on my eyes very, very soon. Let me know. God, I can't take myself seriously. All I can be is sorry. So let me know if you want to try Davina, have tried Davina, are going to try Davina. Did you see Shawnee's video already? I can't even with my own self. All right. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed already, you're not going to now. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate hanging out with me for all these shenanigans. Be good and remember to be kind to you.